the police were there in force, including some of the three and a half thousand from across the UK drafted in to reinforce the police service of Northern Ireland. It's just that there weren't many demonstrators, around 1,500 according to police. They marched through the streets of Belfast, demanding the G8 do more to make the world a fairer place. The policies they're pursuing are making the world a much poorer, unequal place. Um, there's a better way, it's a simple way, and everybody here, it's not just the trade union movement, you know, it's the churches, it's the aid agencies, it's communities, it's ordinary people are saying there's a better way of doing this. Outside Belfast City Hall, global political issues met local ones, a small and rather hostile group of loyalists holding one of their regular protests at the decision not to fly the union flag every day. 90 miles away in Enniskillen, the venue for the G8 meeting itself, the police were also out in force. Previous G8s have been the scene of violent demonstrations and pitched battles between police and protesters. The authorities here are taking no chances. One local business was making the best of things, selling ice cream named after each of the G8 leaders. But so far, security worries have overshadowed the issues they'll actually be discussing. Back in Belfast, an open-air concert aimed to remind the world leaders of one priority on their agenda, doing more to end world hunger. Nick Hyam, BBC News, Belfast.